Hello. Hey, everybody. Uh, it's Heather from Collaborate to Win. And today, Product Knowledge Live, I am going to be telling you about buying groups and what, um, what, what they're about in general, and then what makes Collaborate to Win special. So um, thanks for joining. And so let's, let's just dive right in. Um, so a buying group um, has buying groups in general have been around for decades and they're generally small groups of designers who band together because they know each other, they live locally, and they want to help each other meet those difficult high minimums that these vendors have put in place. So by working together, they've been able to do that. And so um, when I was first starting out in my business, and I've been in my business for eight years, and it took me a little while to figure out like how you purchase and all that stuff. So the buying group that I started uh, was like back in, I say, I want to say like 2015. So I think it's been four years of having a buying group. And it's started off small. It was five people. And I just called it the buying group. Um, and we were all like living in New Jersey, even though a lot of the clients didn't live in New Jersey, you know, we'd send it to New York, Florida, um, California. Um, so very quickly, I saw that, you know, even though we live here, our clients are all over the place. So that then inspired me to say, well, there's no reason to not include people in other states. So we um, we expanded because people kept saying, this is such a great idea. I, I really want to get access to this product and I can't get it otherwise, certainly not for a decent price. So, um, so we expanded it. And last year we came up with a name. We made it an LLC. It is an official business. So that separates us a little bit from the average buying group. We are a business. We are all over the US. We even have three members in Canada right now. So um, we have, uh, it's roughly 150 interior designers. Um, I vet every single person that comes through personally. And then uh, my partner, my business partner, Tracy, uh, vets their resale certificate or business equivalent. So I'm looking into your website, your social media, and making sure that you are fitting in our categories, which is interior designer, decorator, or stager. You have to be one of those to be in our group. So if you don't already have a website and you're not on social media, that makes it really hard for me to figure out if you are really who you say you are. But if you're just starting out and you have maybe some uh, floor plans from school, you know, some mood boards, some before and after that, you know, it's not worthy of going up on a website yet or something, you can email me these things. If you apply and I'm not satisfied with what I'm seeing, I'm going to email you back and say, I need more information to know that you really are an interior designer. So I'm vetting every single person that comes through because uh, we've had people that tried to get in that were a photographer or something else. That's, that's not, that's not going to happen. That's not going to get, you're not getting in that way. Um, so, so that's first off, I vet every single person that comes in. Um, when you apply, you apply on our website. We have an application that you fill in all of your information. You upload your resale certificate, so we're checking that out too. Um, the contract was written by a lawyer. Um, we had to do that for um, obvious reasons. You know, everyone should have real contracts written by real lawyers. We also have an accountant. We have bills that we pay every month because we offer um, an organized system and a better way of doing things and educational stuff. So um, it's a really robust buying group because it's not just about purchasing. It's about community and all kinds of great stuff. Teaching other things too. Uh, okay, so the lawyer made our contract and we wanted to have our stuff not ever get stolen again. Um, so there is a clause in there that says don't steal. It appears as though it would say some people have misinterpreted that clause to be um, the non-compete 
is not about you not being part of any other buying group or only buying through us or whatever. It's none of that. You can be part of as many buying groups as you want. You can sell just to your friend who you know forever and that's what you've always done. And that, I have no problem with that. Collaborate to Win just doesn't want our documents and everything stolen. That's all that clause is. Um, so the contract was really written by a lawyer. I vet everyone that comes through. We are a legit LLC business. Um, we are nationwide with a few people in Canada as well. Okay, a big thing that separates us from another buying group is that you see pricing firsthand. It's not an email of this is your price. You're looking at the price list. I really feel that this is super, super important because how would you know what the price really is if you're not seeing it yourself? If you're going by someone's word, you are trusting that that person's honest. And you don't know when someone's dishonest with you until you've caught them in a lie. So we show you every price. You have 24-7 access to our private drive with all of the price lists. And in some cases, it's a, um, a website sign-in. So you log in and, you know, it might tell you stock and price in the website. If that's how the company does it, and so on. Not all of them do it that way. Some, a lot of them are um, a PDF price list. So we have a very organized system for all of that information. We, um, we have what we call account holders. So out of the 150 members that we have, we have about 40 or so uh, account holders. So if you've gone through the trouble of opening these accounts, um, you've made their minimums, you're, you're, you're keeping it going, uh, you're satisfying the needs to make that price tier happen, then you can offer that um, to our group and we set you up as an account holder. So then if you want company A and you've searched it, you've written your PO, you've, you've got your price, you order through whoever the account holder is, let's call her Judy. Judy has company A, you send your PO to company, uh, to Judy, she sends that to company A, and fulfills this order for you. And for her trouble, Judy is gonna get 10% of whatever the item costs. So it's not a whole lot of money, but it's certainly money you didn't have before. And the, the main reason we all do this is to make those high minimums, because if you didn't get enough orders this year, then they're gonna take away that price point. You're gonna lower you down to a price point where you can't compete with the internet anymore. And, you know, that's really the whole thing with the buying groups is they, we have been struggling forever to get the good pricing because, you know, we're small potatoes, right? We're tiny little groups. We, maybe you've got a company of five, but the, in the bigger scheme of things, the manufacturers still consider you small. So as a little fish swimming in this giant ocean on your own, you're, not taken seriously, you're not given a voice, you're not given better pricing, you're not considered at all. But if all of our little fish band together and swim together, suddenly we're a much bigger fish in this pond. So that is really what the buying group is all about. Because the internet, with a couple clicks of a button, you don't even need a computer, all you need is your phone. Your phone, you can stand right there and in front of a client and have her turn around and be like, you mean like this right here for less than what you can buy it for? Really? With free shipping? It is the way of the world. I did not make this problem. I am trying to survive this problem. And it's not just affecting interior designers. It's infecting retail, showrooms. Everyone is dealing with this. We're all trying to survive and make money. We're not in this for the hobby or the love of it. Most designers do what they love, yes, but we also have bills to pay and that requires real money, real profits. And you're not getting that with a designer discount or a trade program or any of these other things. Stocking dealer is the thing that designers need and no one's listening to us. So I created Collaborate to Win to solve this problem. 
So you have access to all the price lists 24 seven. So if you decide nine o'clock at night on a Saturday, you feel like pricing up some stuff, you don't have to bother anyone and wait around for an email to come through. You see the price for yourself. And if it scares you to think, well, I don't know how to read a price list, don't worry, we teach you. I have videos um, that you can watch where I take you through step by step, because I know we're all visual. Um, so you see my computer screen and you see how I price it and how I go about doing things. If you're like, I've never written a purchase order before, don't worry, I have a video for that too. I show you this is what you need to do. This is how you cover your butt to make sure that mistakes aren't happening because mistakes are expensive. So, um, yeah, so that's, you know, we are organized, we are a real business, we have a lawyer, we have an accountant, we have bills to pay, and, um, and we're growing. We're about to have a price increase, so it is now um, September 26th. As of October 1st, our price is about to increase, so if you join now, you get in for uh, $297. On October 1st, our price will be 370, and that's for a year. So if you're joining in September of 2019, your year is up in September of 2020. So um, next we have lots of support and community. We have a private Facebook group um, that is only two members, and we are all helping each other out with, um, you know, uh, any issue that happens, uh, help me find this. My client loved it from this. Anybody have a source? Um, all kinds of, of great things. We um, have lots of tools that help you, you know, if you're new at this or if you've been in it for a while. There's our uh, freight and delivery. We help you with where you would find these people, how you would find these people, their phone numbers, and all that stuff based on where you live. Also, um, like an idea of what that costs, because even having done this for many years now, I'm still always referring to that list to say, okay, my freight will probably be X based on Y. So there's lots of tools, lots of community and support. We have a mastermind group. Actually, our mastermind will happen tonight because it's every Thursday night, um, the last Thursday of the month. So once a month, we do masterminds on all different topics. And since High Point's coming up, that's our topic tonight. So um, a bunch of us get on a Zoom call, and you know we're all across the country, and it's just kind of fun. So And if anyone doesn't make it onto those calls, we record them and upload them so that everyone can see it later. But it's always better when you get to um, see people and catch up. <sighs> okay, so we have rules and systems in place. Myself and my partner, Tracy Taylor, are in charge of things. So for lack of a better term, we are like the bouncers that keep everybody in line and doing what they need to be doing to make sure we're getting um, you know, every order filled the right way. So no one can just be a flake or anything like that because we're gonna, you know, be quality control and make sure that everything is is going on. And we really haven't had any flakes. We've had, um, you know, odd things come up like somebody got into a car accident or, you know, an email wound up in a spam folder and you didn't look at it. So it's just a matter of communicating. So I really, can say honestly everyone in our group is wonderful we have such a great warm compassionate helpful bunch of people really fantastic um so that is basically what sets us apart and why buying groups exist and i felt the need to do this little video about buying groups and collaborate to win because i guess there was some nasty stuff being said on facebook last week I don't have time to be on all of the groups that are out there, so I did not see these things for myself, but it was bad enough that four different people told me about it. So, um, you know, I don't know what to tell you about that, except that um, we're all trying to survive and make a profit, and we're not here to harm anyone. If anything, harm has been done to us, and, um, you know, I... 
I don't know what to say other than uh, buying groups are good and we're not going away. And, you know, it's just really kind of the only way you're going to make money as an interior designer trying to compete with the internet. When the push of a button on a cell phone brings them to some website where they can get it for the same price that you can at any kind of a trade discount. So that is it. I'm going to let you go and have a fantastic week. Um, I am not doing too many more of these Facebook Lives here. It's not going to be every single week, but High Point is coming. So when I get there and I see something really pretty and exciting, I will show you. So, you know, stay tuned for live videos when I'm at High Point. I will continue to share information with you, but not so much on the every single week basis. But if you want to see any of our old episodes, don't forget, YouTube channel, our Collaborate to Win, has all of those old videos posted so you can see um, all about different products and how to go about pricing and selling without a showroom and all the freight discussions and everything else. So those past videos are up there. So uh, thanks for watching and, um, you know, join Collaborate to Win if you're looking to make some profit, okay? All right, bye.